Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Wordle with Art. All right, let's get started. Whew, not doing it quite as late as I usually do, so let's punch in slate. We, we are getting close to the finish line, right, guys? We are getting close. We'll just have one more uh, update with the uh, third week standings, which, of course, will be uh, this coming Wednesday. And then after that, uh, I will go into hibernation mode, putting together hopefully another great finale video for you all to enjoy. And again, it's a legacy that will last forever, uh, you know, or at least until the end of Earth. And future generations will be able to look back and say, wow, so that's who came in first for that little stretch uh, in 2023, whether it be January, February. It looks like there's some interest for March as well. So um, there's a good chance we could do that as well. All right. Now, I actually just studied um, the uh, the words, okay? I just studied the words that Squirtle uh, recommends to use after the specific yellow and green or gray uh, colored tile configurations. And so now I don't have to waste time apart from my little chit chat. And I think we need to go with crawl, okay? Crawl makes perfect sense. C is a great starter letter. We introduced that rogue R, which Tracy Bennett just definitely hates. Um, and we kind of stay in hard mode because that's what Squirtle does. A stays in, the W goes last, or sorry, the L goes last, and W is, you know, eh, maybe not the best, but it's okay. So let's just punch and crawl without any further ado. And yeah, so, you know, sometimes it just does amazing like it did for me with magic a couple days ago and got it for me in three. And this one will probably be a little bit harder. This one's going to be a little bit harder because this just looks like all sorts of annoying things. I can immediately see, you know, like it could be quail, Q-U-A-I-L, which is very annoying. And I'm sure there's other things that we have to be aware of. Yeah, I'm sure there's tons of other things. At least it's not flail, right? We did have that. Um, we did have that uh, about a week ago. So yeah, so definitely quail comes straight to mind. You know, the Q is definitely a funny one. You have to be very careful before you go with that. So I'll keep that in the back of my mind. And uh, let's just go maybe with some more practical words first. Oh, boy. I just can't afford to get too many more fours. Again, I'm not going to be too upset with one because I think I stayed on pace yesterday because cash, as predicted, was tricky. Uh, there was only a couple threes. One, two. One, two. And that came from my good friend Alex, um, who went achy and then cash, which is just, you know, obviously just unbelievably lucky to have come up with that word. So great job, Alex. All right. Slate crawl. Let's just get the get our act together. I think we have to play off of what goes between the A and the L. So clearly an I. Clearly an I. Uh, of course, it could be a double L. So we have to consider basically, I think, an I and a double L. Give me just a second just to double check. There's nothing else that could sneak up on us. Yeah, that's it. All right. So let's go with the AIL scenarios first. So we already talked about quail. Uh, we already talked about quail. Yeah, it is kind of interesting that with this situation, it wouldn't have tested like AIL rather than this annoying AWL. But I guess it thought that it could have been like brawl as well. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's like the, the best Squirtle could come up with, but I trust it. All right, so quail, no flail. Uh, let's just quickly run through here. Uh, P doesn't look so good. Uh, D. Uh, F is no good with either the flail or the frail, which is gr great. Uh, it wouldn't be a grail. So that R really does come in handy. Once again, guys, no R. I mean, come on. What's going on here? She just hates the letter R. Something happened, I think, at some point um, in Tracy Bennett's life that uh, just creates this repulsion for the letter R. It's just, it's just. I mean, it, at this point, it's actually becoming quite comical. It really is. I mean, first, there's been no words beginning with R, okay? And barely any words contain them. In fact, the only one that comes to mind was crave, Okay. So this is just really getting, I mean, to be quite honest, it's quite comical. All right. Uh, but comedy aside, we have to focus here and try to get this in three or four. Um, where was I? Not frail, uh, not, not flail. 
And I think that should do it for the F. Then the G, we said Grail. Uh, H does not seem like it would make any sense. J, K. Now, forget ZX. Um, yeah, I, I think we, I think that the, the, it just comes down to quail. Oh man, that would be great. All right. So now, oh, I'm a little nervous. We, ha we have to work on the, um, the ALLs. So I'm actually just going to, I should have put the AIL in there. It would have been better to visualize, but let's just look at this now. Um, so obviously not small. I don't see anything. Let's not waste time. I mean, quail is still, uh, you know, a decent guess. Oh, God darn it. It's not quail. So I overlooked something. Uh, all right. Well, you know, we hope we have to get this in four now. What the heck did I overlook? What did I overlook? Let's not waste any time here. Let's just try to get this done and accept our, accept our fate with a four, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to be so upset if there's a little trap going on here. Come on, what is this? It's going to be a veil. Oh, it's a veil. Done. All right. Ah, uh, stupid me, stupid me. Because if I had just thought a little bit more carefully, um, yeah, I would have gone with a veil first. Nah, I don't know. I mean. You could also make the argument that we're sort of due for a Q word. I don't think we've had that for a very long time, even though they're very rare. Um, I don't know. I can't, I can't say for sure. I'm glad that I didn't string you guys on too long, and I was able to at least quickly get the avail. But darn it, shame on me for not figuring that out up front, because that might have been a three. All right. Um, yeah, and I think, it's, I think it's at a similar difficulty as cash, so I think there will hopefully be mostly four so I can keep on pace. Let's go to Squirtle. Um, I, I have to think of first before we go. Slate, Crawl, could it go straight to a Veil or would it do Quail? Now, I think it should do a Veil first, so I think it'll get it in three. Like, why would it, why would it do Quail to test the stupid Q? Because there shouldn't be any others where it requires the U, and it would love to probably, you know... I mean, there's no further placement for the A. Bottom line is, I think we're going to see Squirtle get it in three. All right. Slightly disappointed today, guys. I am slightly disappointed. Um, but what can you do? Let's punch it in. Um, so, darn it. Avail. Slate. Crawl. Oh, look at that. It does do quail and then avail. Isn't that funny? So it actually followed my exact path. So my prediction was wrong. I thought it would get it in three, but it makes me feel a little bit better. All right, guys. So there you have it. Unfortunately, performing at Squirtle's level does not cut it in this contest. Some of you guys are just way too good. Now, again, I do like to just for the fun of it, I'm not going to do this all the time, but I know what your starter combos are, guys. And so just for the fun of it, um, I know that um, Tornado will, of course, do um, Parse. And then Clint. Um, oh, and then he's still going to have 32 possible guesses. Um, one of which would be Villa, which we haven't... Uh, I don't think we've had that yet. What else would he have to deal with? Villa. Viola. Um, Quail. Aeoli. And, of course... Um, and, of course, um, Avail. Huh. Yeah. So he's got uh, one, two, um, three words to deal with, I think. Okay. Now let's check. So I think he's going to get it. I think a veil would probably spring up in his mind faster than Villa. Now let's try one more. Babo, who's also doing great. I think he's just one layer behind me. He does sore Clint rather than parse Clint. So let's go avail, S-O-A-R-E, uh, Clint, and then, oh, he's only got six guesses, so this is even better. 
quail and a veil. There you go. So I think I, it's funny, but I guess quite a few people will encounter the same conundrum as me, or I should say dilemma rather, and that is to go with quail or a veil. And um, ah, I don't know. A little disappointed. I think I would have gone with a veil had I um, had I just you know considered that one. But um, what can you do? It's all right. Um, I accept it. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. So good luck to everybody. We'll see how things play out today. Um, 10 minute video. All right. Well, it's not as long as yesterday. That's for sure. Uh, the solve wasn't terrible. That's for sure. But you know, I do like to do these little add ons. They're just kind of fun. But anyways, guys, with that in mind, I hope you have a wonderful day. And of course, I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow with yet another edition of Word of Art.